Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Legit. Now, loads of you have been sending me the link to this video for ages, and I always said I would get round to reviewing it, and finally I've done it. So here it is, Vice's UK bike life video coming up. Young boys on mopeds get a lot of stick in the UK. Mocked for their 50cc engines, embarrassing L plates, and a sound which resembles a dying hairdryer. It does. They're seen as nothing more than an immature nuisance. <laughs> but when they're riding like this, yeah, it, it's stupid and mental, and obviously you're going to get the attention from the police for doing stuff like that. With thousands of followers on Instagram, internet celebrity status, and recognised as serious riders by the US bike life scene. That's great. I mean, we don't have that scene over here than the than the Americans do. It's it's totally different. When I was growing up, mopeds were something you got when you were like 16, 17 to hang outside the kebab shop or go up and down the high street. But now right. there's this group of young people in the UK that. But there's always right always been this group. Into a lifestyle, kind of like a mod revival, except this but time they're they're not. and got man bags. With my nostalgia for pet boys getting the better of me, I went out to meet with young ped riders, respected leaders and Instagram stars of the London contingent to find out if bike life can truly exist in the UK or if it's just a moody import. So is this like a warm up for tomorrow? I don't know really, it's more of a socialising, like, like a chill out, calm before the storm. Yes, yeah, so warm up. <laughs> hey! We'll be here for like two hours and then get moved. I think that on. is definitely the safest way to wait. Yeah. Get in trouble with. <laughs> it's uh, look how safe it is. There's no cars up and down. They still wanna kick us off. We ain't causing no trouble. They see us as a hairdryer. On the very <laughs> yeah, definitely your bike. Ain't none of that. Help! 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 <laughs> when you're riding, what you're thinking is like freedom. You're just escaping from what that like, you're thinking about. Yeah, I feel that. Yummy mummies do yoga. Right. I'd rather go Daisy to a yummy mummy yoga class, but <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. I don't mind riding. I knew it would be a matter of time before like she was on the back, back of again. These are exactly like the boys I remember. Cute bashful banter, diamond studs and wet lip gel. So she clearly the dated the these boys in the school. I was like 16 and now I've just done it. Loved it. I can't get my helmet off. Here comes Ash to the rescue. <laughs> we were like Kim and Kanye. Oh, Jesus. No, you're not. You're a fucking reporter. Easiest thing to do is go and get your provisional, throw some L plates on your bike, and ride. Some people do drive dangerous, but we've got to just advise the younger lot. I mean, how many in this group are actually riding normally? Happen. Now, I'd say I'm at that point where pretty much sensible until I can't help myself. I mean, that's, that's still not clever, though. That's like saying, oh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I'm, I'm really good. I'm teetotal until I see a drink and then I'm alcoholic again. No, it doesn't blow flames, unfortunately. That's the next step. You need to up your game. It's my baby. He's a flamethrower. He's driving Watch whilst on the phone here recording this video. Have you ever had people trying to steal them before? I did have a bike. Unfortunately, a load of guys came, you know, and kicked off the door with guns. They knew who I was. They came and stole your moped. They kicked the doors in with guns to steal your moped. Right, props on you for building another one, but why would they, why would they smash in the doors with guns just to steal a moped, which is worth, I don't know, like three grand max? It was clear that he was a far cry from the moody ped riders I remember. It was a Friday night and I was following him to Ace Cafe. Oh my God, man. Is this, is this actually a legitimate reporter? Because she's just a fangirl. I'm so excited. Maybe I do like them more than I let on. Bruv, have a cold shower, dude. Back together again. What happens to impartiality of, like, news reporting? All she's doing is arse licking. Oh, no, I'm not. That's a pizza delivery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was in UK, raise it up. These clips are so <laughs> random. That's central London. <laughs> This is obviously the place to be on a Friday night. Now you wonder why there's so much police here, because all this is going on and they're holding up traffic on buses. <laughs> you better hope that's not your pizza, because those toppings are going to be dropping everywhere. Supermoto Matt, I'm the owner of UK Bike Life. This is At the minute, I'm not really enjoying myself. 
each to their own, innit? I, I just buzz off bikes full stop. Yeah? yeah bikes are cool. Yeah. Dig number one. Three. Am I in now? You're in. The only thing that's missing is a bike. Dig number two. She really wants to get on a bike. Just chuck her on a bike somewhere, man. <laughs> don't know. What happens when someone pulls a wheelie? How do you celebrate? You'll clap. Don't care, Vim. Don't care. right here. That's what it is. I just came up with the idea. How tall is he? Man. Jesus. Then Ash took it further and he promoted everything. He blew it up, so. You've got to give him props for that, man. It's a lifestyle. It takes over your life. I have to ride. You can't not ride. It's in our blood. It's what we do. Bikes and getting money, that's my favourite things right there. Yeah, you and me both. Who just crashed? Two scooters crashing into each other. This is what happens, everyone gets too excited. What, so was anyone hurt? How's he supposed to know? He was just talking to you. Oh my god. Oh, his headlight's a bit mangled, isn't it? He's one of the younger kids as well. Oh, well done. Oh, oh. Well done, Daisy. Well done. Before, yeah, there used to be this every Friday, and then next thing you know, there would be like four vans pull up, and up. everyone, everyone's bikes would put in the back. Why do you put tape over your number, though? No, on the cover, they'll record you and send, they'll send a letter to your house saying the name is Strangled. I'll do whatever it takes to get my bike. Fight to the death? Yes, I'll fight to the death. Huh. Our police. <laughs> Oh man. They're cars and that, and they see you, they're straight. They're gonna change you. Is it easier to get away if you're on a bike? 100% yeah. getaway time. All day long. I, don't uh, I lost respect I don't for both of you there. Number plates, really. If I got my own bike, it ain't got a number plate on it. I've got too much to lose. Fuck the police. That is so stupidly contrary. If you're gonna take your own bike out, not one that's stolen, don't cover up your plate. Don't do stupid stuff on it. Just be legitimate. It's not hard. You can still have a great time on a bike and not have to worry about covering your plate up. Police aren't going to report you if you're not doing anything wrong. It's as simple as that. I've just spent my first night at Ace Cafe. I was expecting this like really nice chill place where people throw a couple of wheelies, but like when I turned up, it was mental. There was people all across the street. It was so loud, you had to shout. It was like a really bad nightclub. And there was smoke everywhere. And if you stepped too close to the road, you were going to get hit. After Sounds that, so fun. That's hate of what's to come. And I'm really looking forward to the ride out. A celeb amongst the scene with 5,000 fans on Insta and followed by some of the most notorious 12 o'clock boys all the way over in Baltimore, Wavy's greatest ambition in life is to make money from bikes, even talking of becoming a stunt rider in Hollywood. Wavy, aka Bossman, aka The General, wanted to show me where it all began. Here Kitty, the Mirror Hounds law. When I started secondary school, that was it, game over, bike life. <laughs> I was addicted. And where were you getting the bikes from at that age? We would just find them, we would acquire them. Stealing them. What was like your main victim for that? Pizza Hut. <laughs> Definitely Pizza Hut. We used to order a pizza to like the top floor. Everyone would hide, hear the bike pull up, he'd go upstairs, come back down and we are gone with the bike. There's nothing impressive about that. All you're, all you're saying is you're a bike thief and you stole people's bikes for your own enjoyment and pleasure. There's nothing cool or like great about that. And I'm not doing half the crazy stuff. I haven't had to steal bikes to do it. I've worked hard, I've got a good job and I pay for all of my stuff with my own money. I don't expect other people's property to become mine so I can have fun on it. That's, that's not how the world works. What's your like history with the police? I think they're wankers and I think they think the same about me really. But fuck them, they're the number one haters. I can understand when like someone ain't got control over their bike and that and they're wheeling down the road. Yeah, maybe they might have come off and hurt someone. I don't know, there's always going to be them scatty, reckless riders out there, boy. They're the number one haters. No, they're not. They're not going to be bothered about you. They're not going to give you a second f***ing thought if you're riding normally. But if you're doing this, standing up on your bike, going down a residential road, like doing a wheelie, of course they're going to care about you. This, this world isn't your playground to do wheelies and steal bikes in. That's not how this community and society is. It doesn't cater for you. There's places in London that let you do all this. There's dirt tracks and dirt bike places all over London. There's one just off City Airport. You know, if you want to do this stuff, do it on the track. Do it on a dirt track. Don't do it on the road. You can't complain about the police saying they're harassing you and giving you a hard time when you're doing stupid and illegal stuff in front of everyone on the public roads. Oh, I can't be asked to even talk about this anymore. It's just stupid, just stupid stuff he's coming out with. <laughs>
And when you do get on a bike, how does it make you feel? Free. People say like a bird, isn't it? Yeah. I feel, I feel like I'm more like Aladdin or something. What? Flying. <laughs> God, I, God, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I be Jasmine? Yeah, if you want. Oh, mate, is she a journalist or is she just using this as an opportunity to flirt with a bunch of teenagers? Wavy was the last person I expected to use a Disney analogy to describe how empowered he felt whilst on a bike. Oh, well, because that makes him such a great person. He's literally told you he's stolen motorbikes and robbed companies of their property. But he's such a great person because he makes Disney analogies. Fuck me but he was definitely someone who had mastered his environment. Originally something to pass the time, he now sees bikes as a way out of suburban life. Do you know anyone that's been seriously hurt on a bike? Yeah, a couple of close friends have passed away, injured themselves, broken bones, lost limbs. I've seen other people crashing, fuck themselves up. Does it put you off? No, it don't, man. When, you, when your friend passes away from riding, you've got to ride for them, for the fallen riders. With moped seen as a stepping stone, Wavy introduced me to some of the more experienced riders in UK bike life, who had now passed through onto bigger, faster bikes. But with more power comes more danger. We met on a ride out, and then he had a really bad accident, was in a coma for 13 days. Blunt force trauma, they said. So he broke everything, you know, everything on my Jesus, left side. Dude. Every bone in your body. Look, scar. Yeah. It's got foot. metal from here to Especially here. Basically, I'm man. My foot's fucked. It wasn't nice. Getting on the bike and just riding makes me feel more Did alive. you learn anything from your that. crash? No. I don't know. I reckon I would have drunk myself to death or something stupid like that. I don't know. Well, you're going to crash yourself to death do you if you keep riding so mentally. Like again? If I do come off now and it's hard enough, I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, don't ride crazy then. I think girls are too You've got a lovely right girlfriend who clearly now, loves you, you and wants to keep riding with you. Why do I've stupid seen stuff? Some, someone copying my swag. Sure. This is five star riders. We don't say five star rider in it. Don't put no hashtag around there, B. What is a five star rider? <laughs> you ride anything, everything goes up. Quad bikes, super bikes, dirt bikes, anything. All right, Matt, listen, this is what I do on my t shirts, yeah? And this is a pair of scissors nah. what I do with your t-shirts if you copy my nah. designs. Okay, Mate, you're like, letting no, him cut your shirt. It's a five star yeah. rider. You've paid <laughs> money for that, what the hell? Swag to yourself, yeah? That little hashtag here yeah, was my design. His name's on Five Star Riders. Five Star what? Riders. Cutting up someone's t-shirt over a hashtag seems petty, petty as fuck. Bike life is meant to be all about community. But this is an example of inevitable boy politics that creeps... Oh man, get over it. Someone's put Five Star Rider on their top. Get oh. over it. This beef was over a t-shirt design and a hashtag. When I hear a group of young people speaking so passionately about something, and for them it's way more than just a bike, there's something really noble about it, and it's really romantic. Really, because I'm sure rapists but talk really passionately about their victims. Is that romantic? Way, it really highlights the double-edged sword of what bike life is. There's no double-edged sword to bike life. Bike life is you loving and living with bikes. It's not being reckless and riding like an idiot and dying because of it. It was the day of the big ride out. We followed Ash to meet the other Croydon riders before joining the masses at Ace Cafe. Oh! What the hell? Mental. She's like the worst reporter. Oh I've ever my seen. god! His feet is on His the saddle. His feet is on the saddle. Please are right there. Yeah, they are, aren't they? If this Straight from the red light. Then I'm scared for later. Jeez, just cut the gun around about Oh up. my god, there's literally so many of them. Dressed like a young girl. Sick. I've been sleeping. Is that why you got these on? Don't, why are you touching yeah. the sunglasses for? <laughs> he looks knackered. Oh my <laughs> god. Do <laughs> you not even have a shower and we're out for the big day? Bruv. <laughs> what do the women think? They love it. Yeah, my, my heart's oh, fluttering. he's getting embarrassed. <laughs> What's it feel like when you're riding along all together? We don't boys. Yep. <laughs> we run that is a great use of a jacket. Oh, he's holding his dick. Lovely. He must really love those bikes. On a hot summer's morning. I started to realise just how important these events were to the people. Great here. use of goggles, man. Very protective of your eyes. Haze still looming over them from the night before. But there was an energy in the air and everyone was excited to be riding out together. So, Ash, like the Pied Piper, is just <laughs> Like the Pied Piper? Like the to go. My God, can she lick his ass anymore? Oh, 
like a hundred bikes. They're completely taken over the road. This There's is more than a hundred. Barely keep up. The police are right up there, so they're all telling them to slow down at the back. But they're touching their heads. I guess that's the police signal. Someone didn't get my Seeing the grey and boring dual carriageway transformed by a mob of bikers in Technicolor t-shirts. Technicolor, they're all in dark clothing, grey clothes. There was something almost quite majestic about it. But as what, I was the watching noise? the in and out of traffic, there's the nothing road, majestic about that. It was clear that. that one wrong move and someone could get seriously hurt, if not killed. Yeah, no shit. The ride out continued for over an hour until we reached the final location. The wheelie spot. The wheelie spot. He's still the holding his dick, man. Everyone what? arrived in one piece. Nice. Now I need to find Ash because I'll be scared all on my own. Oh no. Go find Ash. Like, gathered them all up and sent them on their way. How does it feel that everyone's like made it here? Well you've got so many so many bikes, you've gathered everyone together. <laughs> the ice cream man just pulling up there. There was one accident oh, away, unfortunately due to unexperienced riders not being aware of their surroundings. We ride in a group, you look out for each other. I'm surprised that there's not more than one accident. Yeah. I mean, one crash. Well, one crash is one too many. How does it feel when you're all together? Family. Yeah. Everyone knows everyone. We all ride bikes. That's fair. Everyone comes together. It doesn't matter who you are, what area. We got people from Peckham, North London, we're from South London. Big up South oh, London. London. I don't know, it's, it's like our church. I like it. Yeah, this is our church on Sunday. <laughs> right now, <it's> Sunday. <laughs> Oh, well, you're a dickhead then. The vibe turned sour. Supermoto appeared with a bloody nose. Apparently, something to do with a t shirt cutting incident from the day before. Oh, it was a shame that yeah. something as petty as Instagram beef had escalated to this level. Fuck the beef between each other. Get your but soon it was diffused by all the riders' one common enemy. The police. <laughs> they arrived to shut it down and rumours were quickly spreading that they had allegedly tried to hit a rider off his bike. To avoid any further antagonism, Ash rounded up over a hundred riders and moved them on. Oh my god. Fucking fun spoilers! How are they fun spoilers? There's over a hundred bikes there. They're being stupid on the road. One guy's crashed. Someone's been assaulted and has got a bloodied face. What do, what do you think they're here for? They're not here just to ruin your fun. They're here because there's stupid stuff going on, man. Look how many police cars they get out just for some bikes, man. Fuck. Some bikes. One thing, man. Look at this, just for a couple bikes having some fun on the road. Look, one, two, three, four, five. There's five police cars here that could be out catching a serious crime right now. Catching a serious crime right now. There's five police cars and over a hundred riders. How many how many coppers do you think you could get in a police car? Well, in the ones we saw, there was two. Two coppers in what five police cars? That's really enough to deal with over a hundred riders, isn't it? Guaranteed there's gonna be a quite a few of them that haven't got plates on, are riding recklessly. Of course, they're not just gonna rock up with one police car and expect everyone to take them seriously and everyone to do as the police say. Like what a stupid comment to say. Wasting time, look at this. They come and literally boom, flicked out the, the trenches straight away, went for it, like boom, boom. Some guy nearly got hit off his bike by the police. Like, there's no need for that. If he had a weapon, then maybe, yeah, but they just want to hit someone. Yeah. They just want to use their baton, that's what it is. They just want to make arrests, that's what it is. They want to take people's bikes. Right, yeah, they want to hit someone, they want to make arrests, and they want to take people's bikes. That's definitely what everyone who joins the police signs up and says, that's what I want to do. The three things I've got in my life that I'm really ambitious to do is to hit people off their bikes, to arrest people, and to seize their bikes, because I haven't got anything better to do with my daily life than to do that. You can grow up. Everyone's Almost got hit. About six police cars have shown up. There's no need to speed yet. He's, he's got blue lights on. He's responding to an emergency and he's going, he's being like a petty little child going, oh, there's no need to speed. Uh, like, are these, are these dudes for real? Let's just go home. I can kind of understand why the police want to shut it down. There was even two kids that had an accident on the way here. Two kids that had an accident. But on the other hand, it seems like there's a group of young people with so much energy and so much passion and they just want a place to feel together and there's not really anywhere that they can do that. Far from being antisocial, what I found was a club of lost boys searching for a bit of fantasy and escapism from an environment where both things are severely lacking. Yes, it's dangerous. 
yes, it's irresponsible, but their dedication to forming a lifestyle around a vehicle that sometimes people laugh at truly does reflect a classic British ability to make the best of what you have. Obsessions with recognition and online profile might not seem that impressive, but for them, it's a glimmer of hope that they might be picked out of obscurity and flown over to join the American gods of bike life. But even if they don't, they've created something that's their own, that reflects who they are and where they come from. And it turns out after all these years, there's still something charming, fun, and a little bit edgy about boys on bikes. Mate, it's just so cringe. What on earth, man? There's still something edgy about boys on bikes. Yeah, because like the edgiest girls I've ever seen are the girls that steal bikes. Oh, mate, they are the fittest. Oh, I can't, I just f***ing lose it when I'm around them. Get a grip. So there's actually also a clip of Ash being stopped by the police. It shows a police officer talking about giving them all a section 59. Are we getting people calling us then saying no, that you're me, yeah? or, uh... Oh great, another reach for your phone and film it for social media. Yeah, so you've got my registration, yeah? You're gonna give me a section 59 for what? For riding up and down the road. Okay, when you came here, when you came here, where was my bike? But we got we got calls from local residents that are saying you guys are racing up and down. Okay, so when you came here, where okay, was my bike? We got all skid marks when you, when you came here, where was my bike? Your bike was there. Okay, so okay. did you see me riding? It doesn't matter. No. So therefore, I cannot. Be, I, no, no, I can't be given a okay. section 59 because I wasn't riding yeah, my can. bike. But I'll speak to a member of public. Yeah, you can. Member of public here, it's not no, a problem. No, 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 I'll go get a statement from them. That As way. if. Okay, and with, with the index. That way. And then, yeah. then, then you can consider giving me a section 59. Yeah. But until you then, can I'm consider. No, you don't tell him what to do. I'm going to appeal it. Yeah. Because when you well, came duh. here, I was sitting still. That's fine. And I'm whoever this witness is, whoever this witness is, it doesn't matter if you're sitting still. You need to tell them to get their facts right. So for you to come down, you need to get your facts right. You clearly don't know the law. Don't even know. Yeah. You haven't come here with a registration looking, have you? No. Okay. We've got so it, therefore, we've got it on the so therefore, yeah. you are wrong. You're okay. wrong to say I'm handing out. Well, How is he wrong? Well, You're wrong. Witness who's seen you guys riding around. Yeah. If your number plate isn't given, then you've got nothing to worry about. Right. So, so, uh, so exactly. How can you, how can you come and harass people and tell them you are giving? It's them not section harassing. 59s. Grow up, you big yeah. girl. I said I'm taking all your details. No, no. You said you're all getting section 59s. Did you not? Right. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, you're wrong. So if you I have not a foot oh, down, who cares, man? I'm not arguing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making. You a are. The witness talks to us and you're says, being yeah, petty. You riding around, then you'll be getting section 59. I beg to differ, anyway. Okay, well, that's fine. That's right. fine. You, well, that's you on camera. What's your name, sir? PC Walker. PC Walker. Yeah. From what station? Croydon. From Croydon. Okay. Croydon. Okay. Cool. Another mobile phone warrior. Wow. A constable has to have reasonable grounds to suspect you of committing a section 59. He doesn't have to see you doing it. If someone goes and says that person's just stolen that car, if I then have stolen that car, dump it in a driveway and sit in a wall beside it and use your logic, oh, you didn't see me driving it. I didn't steal it. It's bullshit. Stick to the bike stuff. The law, you clearly don't know. Let me know if you guys agree with me or you disagree down in those comments below. Till next time, guys, as always, you've been awesome. I've been legit. I'll see you in the next one.